Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. It is July 20th, 2017, and I was going to vlog out here, but I don't know if you can probably can't see it from the camera, but it is raining right now. It is sprinkling. Now, let me show you here my, uh, and you see the water right there. It is sprinkling again, which is good because we need the rain, but it also feels nice. So I think I'm going to do what I can out here. Hope it rains again. You know, I missed that yesterday. Oh, I saw it yesterday morning, but then I went to work and never saw it. And when I came, my, my, my screen here, it uh, was sunny. Anyways, today's Thursday. Today's my Friday. Good news. I got the okay from the wife to try to EO today. Yeah. EO means early out from my work. So I'm hoping I can get out early today and then enjoy the rest of my, start my weekend. Which is going to be a good one because me and my wife are finally going to celebrate our anniversary. It is our chance because we haven't had a really a chance to. So I'm going to take her to a nice dinner over downtown. But first, I got to do something that I need to do. It's something that I am very bad about doing. And I will admit that I am really bad about this. Is responding to comments from my vlog. I don't forget about you guys. But, some, but I get caught up in like life and then... I never really have time to sit down and do stuff like to just chill out and you know because I'm always constantly working but let me go uh, answer some of this um, the comments and uh, I really really appreciate everybody commenting on my vlog really really do and I will be trying to get better and quicker and responding to all because I, I try to do my best to respond to every single comment from my vlog so yeah let me just do this real quick and answer, respond to somebody's comments. So let's go in the back here and see exactly what I got because I already forgot what I got from uh, Savers. Look at see, this is a, this is a sweater. Uh, Jeffrey Bean, it's new attack. The only reason why I bought it, Jeffrey Bean's kind of a crap brand, but you know. New tag. Let's see what they got here. Another new tags here. This is a uh, another sweater. What is this? Jeffrey. Another Jeffrey Bean. A uh, pair of pants. Levi's, which I always buy. This puzzle. Look at this. This is sealed. Nine nine cents. Wow. And this is old. All you read about is old and sealed from nightly Bane USA. Cool, cool, cool. You like that? Anybody want that? <laughs> Let's see what I got here. So I also got the sweater from Banana Republic. Let's see here. I got another. Let's see here. We got another sweater. This is a uh, Nautica. Oh, just two bucks. Another bag here. I got, I'm gonna take an Ike Bahar. Got an orange shirt. I got a couple Hawaiian shirts. These are kind of these are kind of worth some money. Though. These Hawaiian shirts. This one is worth money, and there's one more. This one right here, because of the design. Um, I look on eBay, and they're worth like thirty to fifty dollars. These two right here. So yeah, pretty excited about that. So my plan is, if I get up early, I'm gonna come home and do the measurements for these clothes, take pictures, and try to get them up as soon as possible. Especially those Hawaiian shirts, because the Hawaiian shirts are probably the big sellers. But first. I gotta go be Mr. Poker Dealer guy. Hopefully not for long. Oh, but one thing I gotta do here. Oh boy, 10 o'clock. I gotta go head to work. Before I do this morning, I actually sold something. So I had to pack something. And there it is. The old uh, eBay. This is a, uh, so this is a, uh, like a polo, Ralph Lauren polo shirt. I got it at a Goodwill for 99 cents and sold for 15. It's a little bit, guys, it's a little bit. So anyways, let me head down to the post office and then head to work, be Mr. Poker Dealer guy, and hopefully I'll be able to get off early today. Woo-hoo, because I don't feel like So I'm heading to work today. right now, 30 minutes to work. <laughs> so it gives me a little bit of time to uh, talk to you guys. And I want to talk about something that, um, that I've been thinking about for a while. Um, but I've been thinking about more uh, the past three or four days. Uh, I have to say that this week has been one of the most enjoyable 
weeks I've ever had doing the vlog uh, for several reasons. Um, one of the reasons, of course, I got to meet one of my viewers, Yvette from New York. Uh, I got a, uh, a surprise uh, anniversary card in the mail from Morgan from North Carolina. And it was just amazing. It was two amazing surprises this week that I really, I really, really, really enjoy. And I'm so grateful that I got, that those two people were kind enough to send me gifts and meet with me and we talked and it was, it was just an enjoyable week. And it's got me thinking that I want to do something to give back to you guys. You guys give your time to watch my vlogs, to comment on my vlogs, to like my vlogs, maybe even dislike some of my vlogs, but you guys have put in your time to engage into the Ronnie Bizzle TV YouTube channel. And I want to do something to give back. But I'm not sure what I can do to give back to you guys. Um, and I thought about a few things. I thought about you know doing contests, giveaways. Um, I thought about doing like a um, an unedited vlog of one of my days. Just to show you that um, what you see is like a total edit job of every of my of my day. But there's there's some stuff that I take away because it sounded terrible or just didn't fit into the story that maybe I should uh, release to you guys, the viewers, maybe once a week, maybe once a month, to show my pre to show you guys that, you know, I really, really appreciate everything you do, do, for, do for me and for continuing to support the channel. But I want to put it out to you guys. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what you guys want me to do to give back to my audience, my viewers of my YouTube channel. So what I want you guys to do, um, comment below. Uh, so, uh, give me some suggestions. What do you want? What do you want me to do to give back? Because I really, really want to give back to you guys. But I'm just like I said, I'm not sure what to do. So if you guys wouldn't mind, just leave a comment below of what you want me to do, and I'll look through. I'll look uh, through them and see what is doable. So the plan is today is not to be here very long. <laughs> like I said earlier, I don't want to feel like working today. I want to EO. I want to early out. I want to get out. I want to enjoy my Friday. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going downstairs. I'm going to sign the EO list. And hopefully, I'll be able to get off earlier than I want. So I can go home and start my weekend by doing a little eBay. But you know what's probably going to happen? And this is, what do you call this? Murphy's Law. I'm probably good work eight hours <laughs> like I always have whenever I want to leave early I was end up working my full shift but we'll see what happens today another week of dealing poker in the books weekend starts now so today was one of those best case scenario deals when I want to get off early I only worked five hours yet I pretty much worked the entire shift. So I actually made close to what I usually make if I did work a full shift. So I'm happy. I'm happy. I wish it could be like that every single day, but I know it's not. So, but like I said earlier, it seems like when I want to leave, I can't leave. And that's what happened today because we weren't really busy. We just uh, were short on dealers for some reason. But I'll take it. I'd rather work than stand around, believe me. Working is better than standing around. So, my wife just texted me. She wants me to gas something for dinner. So, I think I'm going to go to Sam's Club. Because I saw this um, this uh, ready-made pot pie. Well, you just grab it and just cook it. So, I think that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. And then i got to pick up some more stuff. Some Gatorade, I think. So, yeah. Here I am on the strip. Let me turn this around here. There I am on the strip. It's gonna take me, well, 30 to 40 minutes to get to where I wanna go, Sam's Club, over there by my house, so yeah. 
yeah, I got the earbuds in to listen to my podcast to, to make the time fly. So unfortunately, they didn't have that big chicken pot pie that I wanted. Uh, apparently Sam's Club discontinued that three months ago, which sucks. So I ended up getting these two items here. This is a, uh, well, let me turn the camera on here. This is a rotisserie chicken enchiladas. And this is that fettuccine Alfredo that I've cooked a couple times in this vlog. We weren't sure what to get, so I just got both. So my family's about to tear this up. Unfortunately, when I got home, I realized I didn't have aluminum foil. And I'm not gonna microwave this. So I just sent my daughter, my stepdaughter out to the store to go grab me some. All right, we got the start. We're gonna bake. We're gonna start. Oh yeah, I guess we gotta put the, uh, Oh my God, how do you do this? How do you, oh, oh yeah, one, open up, what was it? Let me look back to see again. This is, uh, cook it at 350. So let's cook it at 350 here. Bake it at 350. 50, and start. Yeah! Heat's coming in. <laughs> so let's get this cooked. See you guys in 45 minutes. Oh yeah. Alright guys, I think the food is done. Let's look at it real quick. Oh, look at the heat coming out. Let's serve the wife. She wants a little bit of both. Here you go. Happy wife, happy life. Do I get a fork? fork? Yes. There's my enchilada pasta action while watching the main event of the World Series of Poker. So I'm up here in my loft. Um, editing my vlog, trying to do it as quick as possible. So I'll go back downstairs and finish watching the World Series of Poker main events. Uh, let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys something right now. With this John Hess guy, the final table, it's making the broadcast much more enjoyable because he has a lot of personality. Um, the last couple of years, uh, the World Series of Poker main event has been very, very boring to watch. Because pretty much everybody at those final tables have like a personality of a doorknob. <laughs> but you just think they have no personality. And it's fun to have something to watch that you, there's somebody you can gravitate to, you can, you can uh, relate to. And this is John Hess guy. The amateur is trying to make it. So, let me finish editing this vlog and go back down. Um, like I said earlier, um, make sure you guys uh, give me some ideas of what I can do to give back to you guys. Um, anything and everything, I'll look through it and see what's good. And try some of that, maybe. So, that's it for tonight. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching Ronnie Bizzle TV.